St. Patrick's Day celebration in Grenada is being held under the theme Developing the Youth for a Better Society and a Brighter Future. The day started with the students from schools in the parish attending a church service, followed by the traditional march through the town of Satares. Donalyn Watson Henry is the project officer at the Grenada Cultural Foundation. However, you saw over 200 children marching this morning to recognize. St. Patrick's Day, which is, I mean, the culture, the St. Patrick's Day culture is very strong in the community because one of the things I noticed was persons were out in their green as fast as we were going along the street. You had the police presence, of course, which is always, um, you know, a good, um, good to see that they're showing their support for whatever activities the, the um, St. Patrick's Organization for Development is having. Watson Henry speaks of the activities planned for the weekend. Today you saw the match with the schools and the opening ceremony. Then later on this evening you have the knockout football competition, which happens tonight at the full playing field. On Saturday you have a karaoke finals. One of the activities was scheduled was a health fair. However, um, there was a lot of challenges. So you would see that taking place later on in the calendar of activities. And then on Sunday, you see they're having a church service, which is at the St. Patrick's RSC Church, and that is at 6, six o'clock in the morning, I think it is. And then later on in the evening, they have the cultural extravaganza. There's a karaoke finals, which is tomorrow, and that is happening at um, one of the most popular bars in the in, in St. Patrick's. Um, our, our local... Um, radio personality, Heavy D. So persons who know of Heavy D can, can um, find themselves in the space, tend to see um, more cultural activities. A stage is now erected at the bus terminal, which would, um, which would basically speak to, speak to the, the cultural extravaganza. So to Over the years, Watson says there has been a shift in approach to the St. Patrick's Day celebration. I mean, with, with the, with the, there's a lot of changes because persons from St. Patrick's can tell you in years gone by, there was quite a number of activities. And, and one of the signature activities of the festival really was to highlight the arts and craft of the people in the parish, the talent of the people in the parish. Now you find there's, there's um, a slight shift where a little more focus is placed on the the performing culture as opposed to the, the other types of culture. So um, persons are more tend to gravitate more towards the staged cultural performances as opposed to the arts and craft. But with, with, with time, hopefully we will get back on, on, on the page of highlighting everything that is indigenous of the parish. St. Patrick's Day, or the Feast of St. Patrick, is a religious and cultural holiday held on the 17th March, the traditional death date of St. Patrick, the foremost patron saint of Ireland. The official color for the occasion is green. Christina John, GBN News.